everyone, so I just got a new coffee machine and I thought that it might be interesting and also somewhat helpful to sort of give my first impressions and just show you sort of the coffees and the types that I got because I know it can kind of be a bit confusing and overwhelming. Um, so yeah, I thought that it might be helpful considering there's so many coffee machines out on the market, just sort of giving my opinions on the one that I have. So the coffee machine that I got today is the Nespresso Latissima, I think that's how you say it, DeLonghi machine. And before this, I had the Dolce Gusto one, which isn't a Nespresso one, it's a DeLonghi one, but I think it's Nescafe. So I wanted to upgrade just because this machine allows you to put your own milk in, which means that you can put soy milk, or light milk or any sort of type of milk that you'd want and you don't have to use milk pods and also just the giant selection of flavors of coffee if you can see there. So just an overview of what I got. I obviously got the machine. I got 15 different flavors of coffee and then I also got these two pod holders. So there's one that's like a cube and then there's one here that's more, I think they're calling it totem and it's more like a one that stands up, which I think I might prefer, but that's an overview of what I got. Okay, so I got 15 out of the 16 flavors. So pretty much the whole entire range. The only ones that I didn't get is one of the decaffeinated ones. I got two of them. Um, I got the decaffeinated Intenso and the Longo, but I didn't get just the plain decaffeinated. Um, and I also didn't get any of the new variations, the caramel, vanilla, and chocolate ones. Okay, so I'm unpacking the very first pod uh, holder that I got. So that's the cube one. And I love the packaging, it's so awesome. Okay, let's see if I can open it. Ooh, so it's like this little cube thing. So obviously you put your pods in there. It's like an acrylic sort of thing. So that's really cool. And then the other one is a totem, they're calling it, which looks like that. Now I'll unpack it. Okay, so here is what that one looks like. Um, so obviously you put your pods in these little four sections and then they come out here. So you can have four different flavors or multiple mixed up. Uh, so yeah, those are the two pod holders that I got and I love both of them. I think I prefer this one. I might keep this one in the cupboard with like um, some pods, but then this one I'll leave out on the bench. Okay, so here's the machine and it's so cool. Um, does that go down? Yeah. Um, as you can see, I sort of like took some of like the sticky tape and wrapping and all that stuff off it. And so this is where you put the pod in and that's where you click the buttons if you want like a cappuccino or a latte or like different settings and stuff and small and large and all that. And then here's a little milk thing that you put here I'm pretty sure when you do that. So that's really cool if I can get it in. I still need to sort of like play around and figure it out but and then here's the settings on the milk and something really cool about the, this little milk thing is not only can you like sort of um, change the setting to what you need uh, how much milk you need but it only heats up the amount of milk that you need which means that there's no wasted milk and then you can put this back in the fridge because it hasn't already been heated up and so like I guess that's unhygienic reheating milk all the time so yeah it only heats up what it needs which is really awesome so I thought that was really cool I love the way it looks you guys can see um, and then these little bits come out for cleaning and stuff I guess the pods and then you can bring this out if your glass is really um, short so you can bring that out and if it's tall just push that in and that's what I'm talking about this little like sticky stuff that I had to rip off it's not actually blue this is just like a sticker and the cool thing that I didn't even realize is that they actually include one pod for each flavor. So I didn't actually know that. So um, I guess it doesn't matter since I got pretty much one of every flavor. But this is really cool if you just want to try them out before you actually buy any flavors in case you like really hate one or something. But I'm not too picky when it comes to coffee. I pretty much like it all. And then here's a really cool thing. It's actually like really fancy and magnetic. And this has like all of your... Um, warranty and details and like about your machine and stuff like that so that's cool and you also get this which gives you information and stuff like that something that i forgot to mention is that the water actually goes in the back here and i really love this because it looks like it can hold much more water than my dolce gusto could and it was really annoying constantly having to refill it so that should be awesome um so yeah now i'm going to make some coffees and i guess i'll 
sort of talk to you guys about what I think um, as I try them out. I started to put them in my little spinny thing and I think it looks really cool. I put four flavors in here and they're all the espressos which are like my favorite types of coffee. And then back here I opened the um, variety pack that was included with the coffee machine. So I still have all of these to unpack but I've just unpacked these ones. I don't know how I'm going to store all of these but probably in the boxes. Okay, so here is the coffee machine and I'm just going to give a demo. So the first thing you do is turn it on, obviously, and then these lights will flash. So that's just warming up. It generally takes about 40 seconds, I think, off what I read. And then, oh, actually, no, it's done. It didn't take very long. Um, and so then you open this one and you put your little pod in and close that up. And then you put your cup underneath. And then you click what one you want. So uh, these are like flat ones. I think that's without milk. That's just coffee. And then these are the ones with milk. So you have a small and a large option. So I click large. And then it should start making it. Oh, and you can also adjust your milk. So yeah, you can adjust your milk froth over here to be really frothy or not very frothy. And so it does the milk first. Okay, so the coffee is done and I usually mix it up with a spoon because I like to incorporate it all. But the cool thing is when you lift this up, it actually drops into here where your little pods go. So I think that's really awesome. And then I pull this out and put a smaller cup underneath. And then you press this button to clean out the milk thing. And so when it starts to go clear, you can um, throw this disgusting stuff out. And then you can take the milk thing off and then put it in your fridge. And then you close this thing just for aesthetic purposes. And then turn it off. So now I'm just going to mix the coffee up. And that's really cool. As you can see, it has so much foam. That's what I love so much about this. Um, it's pretty much 50% foam, but that's because I chose the uh, cappuccino version thing. So I just... I'm assuming that's because it has so much foam. But yeah, I think that's really awesome. And then I take this little chocolate shaker thing that's from something else actually. Um, a different type of coffee. And I just put some of that on. Or a lot because I like it. And so yeah, that is what my coffees look like. Um, made with this machine. And I think it's really awesome. As for how it tastes, my favorites are in this little um, thing here. So I have four favorites and that's them. So far, I mean, I think I've tried probably about eight flavors, so I still got a few to try, but these are so far my four favorites.